Hey, in this video I show you how to make salami at home. There are plenty of different recipes out there. This one is my base recipe, especially for beginners. Uh, one third lean beef, one third lean pork, then one third um, pork back fat. Then you need salt and cure. A lot of people ask if you can uh, do it without cure, um, but I would not recommend it, especially for the beginning. Um, just stick to it. And then I have dextrose, pepper and some paprika. And yeah, all of the information in this video, even more detailed, you can find below in a post I have written up. Um, there's everything you need to know because uh, making salami is quite simple, but not easy. So first step, um, cut the meat into strips and also the fat, and then put it into the freezer for around one to two hours. And then afterwards you can grind it. I use the medium perforated disc just make sure your meat is cold when you grind it and this is super important while making salami. Then you can add the cure, the salt and uh, all the spices to the mixture and then mix everything well um, for a few minutes. You can also use um, a machine for it um, but I like to do it by hand so I can feel uh, how the binding has formed. And yeah, then we can already fill it into the casings. For the casings, um, you can either use like uh, artificial casings or you can use natural casings. I'm uh, using both. Um, the first one here is pork casing caliber 2830. It's easier if you have a thinner caliber. So especially if you're a beginner, start with a thinner one uh, and then you can make bigger salamis uh, as you go, as you get better. So uh, get the casing onto the stuffer and then push out the meat. And once you can see it, you can uh, tie a knot uh, with a butcher's twine. Yep, get it on there. Yep, uh, and tie it off and then you can fill it. Make sure there are no air bubbles in there. Make sure that it's uh, stuffed tightly. That's important because we are making cured sausage and we don't want to have uh, any air pockets in it because otherwise uh, it will yeah, spoil later on. Okay. Um, once you think uh, that this salami has the size you want, you can cut it off and then tie a knot at the end of the salami. Yeah, same applies to um, artificial casings. The important part is if you use artificial ones, uh, please make sure that they are made for cured sausages because the sausage itself has actually uh, needs to breathe. So if you use a plastic casing, it won't uh, work. It will just rot uh, in it. So yeah, make sure that the artificial casing is actually made for uh, making salami. As you can see here, um, I filled it up and now the important part is to uh, get any air holes out there. So make sure that it's packed tightly and get a needle or a sausage pricker and uh, get all the air holes out there. Okay, then the next step is uh, to actually let the sausage ferment at room temperature for 24 hours. Uh, again, there's a detailed description below in the article um, of different temperatures and humidity. Uh, to make it at home, the easiest way is to actually hang it at room temperature and then spray it from time to time with a spray bottle of water just to make sure that the humidity is high enough uh, and the temperature should be between like 20 to 25 degrees Celsius uh, which is uh, around 64 or 68 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can see after 24 hours, uh, the sausage has changed its color. 
And now it's ready to hang it in a cooler place. It should be below 18 degrees Celsius, like below 64 degrees Fahrenheit. In my case, that was the cellar. And there you can hang it and let it mature. Uh, in the first days, just make sure that there's enough humidity. Um, perhaps hang a damp towel next to it. Um, and yeah, just make sure that it's not too dry. And then uh, after a few days, you can stop um, providing any moisture and just uh, let it mature for a few weeks. I now had it matured for three weeks and yeah, here you can see it. Um, depending on how um, soft or firm you want it, you can also let it mature uh, for a shorter time. I would say let's cut it open. As you can see, it has a nice color. Um, also, the binding is very well you can see the fat and the meat is distributed evenly. Let's try it out. Yeah, I mean the flavor, I really love cured sausages. Um, it has this really complex flavor, which um, is there because of the maturing process. Uh, as you can see, this one went very well. That's also why I said at the beginning, um, try smaller sausages, thinner sausages for beginners. Uh, the thicker one actually uh, didn't work out quite well. The reason for this is uh, because it's much harder to actually have the right temperature and humidity for the thicker ones. The thinner ones like this, um, they can dry out more evenly. And that's why I also said in the beginning, yeah, try it with a thinner one. It's completely fine uh, to start with it. Um, if you have a curing chamber, then of course uh, go for a thicker one. But yeah, I can recommend to do it like this. As I said below, there's a full description of everything, even more detailed instruction than in the video. Uh, I've written down everything um, as a summary below. So yeah, check it out. Uh, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more sausage videos. And I see you on the next one. Bye bye.